This short video is designed to give you a bit of an understanding of the different types of brushes available on the market, what you would use them for to get the best out of the paints that you're actually applying. So what we look at is if you're going for a solvent based product, such as the high gloss here, it's always best to try to use a natural bristle brush. It means it repels the oils better, gives you better flow across the surface, and it's nice and easy to apply because they're actually slightly stronger with regards to their bristle type. However, if you're going to be using a water-based paint, something like durable eggshell or even our quick dry satin, always try to use, without doubt, a synthetic brush. Now, a quality synthetic bristle, such as this one, means that you've got excellent loading of the paint onto the surface, at the same time using the fine tips of the bristles to remove a lot of those brush marks so you get a nice even flow reducing the brush marks virtually completely. Now, if you're going to be using um, trim paints on big surfaces, then yes, go for a larger brush, but you can also be slightly quicker by using a, a roller. So using a short pile roller to apply your paints with, so a microfiber roller is the one we'd recommend. You can either leave it rolled or you could actually lay it off using your brush if you wanna have a slightly different look and feel. Now with water-based, that's what you wanna do. If you're gonna, however, use a roller for um, applying solvent-based, you could use a foam roller as well or instead of, but you mustn't try to use a foam roller with water-based paints. It creates air bubbles within the application, which means that they can sometimes be visibly seen once the paint dries. Little word of advice as well. If you're applying water-based paint in a warm environment, you can actually help yourself out a little bit by just by using a damp cloth before you apply your water-based primer undercoat, your satin or your eggshells. It helps satisfy the suction of the surface, increase your play time across the surface with your paint, extends the drying time and also reduces brush marks and the final finish. So this is what happens if you use the incorrect brush. So the natural bristle brush will give you lots of brush marks across the surface which you'll find that you will see in the final coat at the end. And this is the kind of finish that you should be looking for by using the good quality synthetic brush. So as you can see, the best thing to do is always use a good quality brush, whether you're using quick dry satin, quick dry gloss, or even the quick dry primer undercoat. <laughs>